Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about shaft couplings. So shaft couplings is something that you can use in your design when you're trying to um, combine two shafts. So you may have a motor and then you have some output and the output maybe is something attached to a shaft. So you have a shaft coupling to um, pretty much tie the transmission together. So there's a lot of different types of shaft couplings out there. You'll see some that's flexible. So the flexible ones will have these slots that you can see here. So that will allow some flexing and misalignment. Um, but some of these at certain speeds, you might see some vibration. So you might have some special ones that have like a multi-piece that's assembled together. So these may have um, better vibration dampening and then you might have certain ones that's meant for high speed and then uh, there's a couple ones for like very big misalignments so you can see there's a lot more slots here or a lot of slits you can see so this allows even more flex than the ones that just have a few slits um, but you can see there's a lot of different types in general and then Depending on the type of shafts, you can see that this supports different shaft shapes that you have. So you, you would just choose the correct one to meet your needs. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Um, let's just say we're dealing with a round shaft. And then maybe we have quarter inch. Okay, so you can see here there's like different types of clamping too. You have um, these these here use set screws, and then this one has more of a clamping method to it. So let's go ahead and look at this one here. So you can see this is for shaft diameter one fourth. So look at the product detail. Okay, so this one actually goes to uh, two different sizes. So sometimes if you're combining two things, you may not necessarily have the same input and output shaft. So this is what uh, this one does. But you can see here the way this uh, shaft coupling works is there's these slots here on the side and vertic vertical and horizontal. So you could clamp one side and the other side independently. So that's what the middle slot is for. And then it'll just compress a few thou and that will be enough compression to hold your shaft uh, inside the shaft coupling. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this and take a look. Let's put in my shaft coupling folder. Okay, so we could see that um, we look at this face. This is the smaller hole. And then if we look at the other face, you can see there's a, this one's a bigger hole. Okay, so that's, that's the two shaft sizes that this will support. So let's go ahead and put assembly together. So we're gonna get a uh, 3 16 shaft and a quarter inch shaft. So, let's see. So, 3 16. It's a diameter. And let's just do a uh, one inch. This is giving us a dowel pin. I don't know why it's showing us dowel pins. Three sixteen. Two inch. Okay, so let's just download this one. Okay, so that's our 316th. And then 
why don't we put a motor on the other end? Okay, so I'm going to go here and find a motor. And we're going to get a shaft diameter of a quarter inch. And let's just go with a sure compact DC motor. So we're going to download this motor, save it. Uh, let me open it. Okay, so we have our motor. And we're going to assume you already know how to mount a motor now. We're just going to show the coupling happening. So let's make our assembly, put a pin, and I'm going to put my motor first, and then my shaft coupling and then my shaft. Okay, so to take a look, you can see that this is a bigger diameter here, so we're gonna mate this to that. And then we could stop the surface. So if we take a look at let's drag it away so we can see a little better. Um, we could select maybe this surface. Assuming that the, the chamfer in there might be the correct one. And then we could meet this. And we'll just do this face to that face. And in practice, you don't really need to have um, the two shafts touching, sometimes you could leave a little bit of gap. But I just made a touching here, so. But yeah, if you look in here, notice that you see this chamfer is not always going to be quite nicely set up. So that's what I was saying earlier. You may not want to uh, mate it exactly to the edge. So maybe you just, maybe you have some a um, little bit of flexibility in terms of where it goes. So I'm just going to meet this face or that edge to this face. And then that way I can make sure that nothing is hitting. Okay, so this is how the shaft coupling looks like in assembly. Um, you can see that you have your motor and then the shaft coupling will attach to another output shaft. And then maybe this output shaft is trying to move something else. And notice that this this shaft is pretty long. So um, in the ideal case, you may actually need the shaft to be supported by something so that uh, the motor itself is not taking all the, the torque that's being applied the moment. Because if there's something heavy, then this motor will see a lot of force. So you may need to have some supporting elements in between. But this video is just focused on the shaft coupling. So um, at least now you know how to connect two shafts together. In this case, it's two shafts of different diameters. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.